Good evening, everybody. My name is Dr. Indranil Basare. I will be providing you with the next few weeks the latest updates in medicine. And now, the one and only most important topic is COVID. So, we shall be providing our viewers with the latest in COVID. What is the therapy? What is the research about the virus? How long will it stay? And what else can we do to get ourselves rid of this virus? Before starting, obviously, in India, we have much smaller numbers than what we see in other countries like the US and Western Europe. If this is because the viral strain is different or if this is because the climate in India is much more warm, we don't know. But it is a good thing. The other important thing about India is that India has locked down much earlier and that has helped prevent a large section of spread. For example, in New York, the principal reason of the spread was the lockdown started much later and um, therefore there was a huge infusion of people from outside who brought in the disease. But then in the community also, there was a massive spread and millions and millions of people got infected, hundreds got sick, thousands died. And as you know, all of us know what the result was. On the contrary, another state which actually started having COVID much earlier than New York, that is California, because of early institution of lockdown, they could manage to keep their numbers to the minimum. The spread was minimum, the death was minimum. And for the last four to five weeks, we have seen what is known as flattening of the curve. That is, the number of cases has reduced, the number of hospitalization has reduced, and number of people dying has reduced. So hopefully with the lockdown 2 coming in India, we can hope there will be restriction in um, social intermingling, which might help in reduction of the virus. But I'm not here to provide you with what most of you possibly already know. We'd like to provide you with something that is latest, that is updated straight out of the research journal, which has not come into the media. So one of the studies that just came out from Stanford says the infectivity of the virus may be 60 to 85 times more than what we see. So is that a bad news? Not really. That's actually a good news, which means that thousands may already have or even millions may already have the virus and we don't know. So what does that mean for the common man? What that means for the common man is with this virus spreading as fire and millions and millions getting infected, but they are completely asymptomatic, it will not take long before at least 50% of the population in a place may be infected, resulting in what is known as herd immunity. That is, there are so many virus infected people and they have so much antibodies um, that not only are they safe, but that will help prevent the virus from attacking newer people because low level infection might spread from one person to other and that infection actually might have already spread. We just do not know the numbers because we do not have enough testing and that's true for all over the world. It's not only for India, it's true for the US. So this particular study shows that maybe we'll reach what is known as herd immunity much earlier. Another study that came out today in Boston showed that in a homeless shelter of 300 plus people, 146 already had COVID, but they were completely asymptomatic. This is another proof that the virus might actually be much less, uh, much more infective, but much, but cause much less symptoms. So overall, we know that 90% of the people having the disease will never get infected. Now that we know maybe its infectious rate is high, so we might reach herd immunity much quicker. With that, I'll stop for today and continue to bring you the latest, including latest research, latest medicine in our fight against COVID. Thank you.